With so many free game engines out there, why should you make your own? Well, that's a very controversial topic and exactly what I'd like to touch in this video. My name is Guilherme, a senior game developer, and in this video, I'd like to tell you everything you need to know in order to make or not your game engine. And before we start this video, I'd like to make things clear here. Create an entire game engine from scratch is not necessary by any means if you only want to make a game. If you want to make a game, just make a game. You don't even need an engine or you should use an Unity, a real Blender game engine or Cave Engine, my game engine of course. Uh, it's not necessary to create an entire game engine just for that. You need to have other reasons, otherwise you give up very easily. And I'm planning to make another video on why not make a game engine, so stay tuned for that and subscribe to this channel if you really want to know the cons of making a game engine, because this video is all about the pros. So let's start with the big one. And it is, you will become an extremely advanced programmer. Of course, only if you go to the end and really make a game engine. But the thing is, game engine development is something so complicated that it will end up covering every aspect of programming. From the lowest level stuff like memory management and optimization, alignment, uh, big goal notation, space complexity and stuff like that, to the higher end stuff like software engineer, architecture and stuff like that, you're gonna have to know it very well in order to make a complete game engine. In other words, you only have one choice if you want to follow this path, which is become a better programmer. And I'm talking that for real. Make a game engine made me a way Way better programmer than I was like five years ago and of course it took me a while you know uh, it's not something that you're gonna wake up and magically know how to do it you need to pursue this but it will eventually make you an extremely advanced programmer and something clear that comes to this is more attractive job offers well think about the most complicated and triple A titles out there I'm talking about the big guys the big game engines and big games well the big games well they all have something in common they are made by huge companies with a lot of money to to pay the development cycles and they usually are made using cues to make game engines. In other words, no Unity, no Unreal, no nothing. So if you have this kind of knowledge, like game engine development knowledge, which is like pretty hard nowadays, you have an advantage uh, when it comes to those job offers, who tends to pay more and in my opinion, it's way more fun to work in a custom made game engine because you're gonna have so many different challenges and stuff to learn and problems to solve. Oh, it's so fun and you don't have a lot of chances of working in a company who only creates custom made engine games if you only know like Unity or Unreal and stuff like that. Of course, I'm not saying that you do not have any chance to get a job if you know Unreal, Unity or whatever. I'm just saying that the big companies, the big guys tend to use custom make game engines and if you know that, you're gonna have, uh, you, you're gonna be in a better position to get those jobs. And talking about games and commercial game engines like Unreal and Unity, well, the fact is you will understand way better how games work and of course how to use any other game engines because like if you go deep enough in game engine development, you're gonna realize that everything is just a matter of uh, computer instructions. I mean, you have a processor or a video processor and everything is just a matter of instructions to that processor. And in the end, they all rely on the more or less same API, which is like no matter Vulkan, OpenGL, DirectX, and if you study them deep enough, you know that they are very similar. Even the Vulkan versus OpenGL, which is completely different, they are very similar at the same time. So if you understand the base, the foundations on a game engine, when you want to use like a Unreal or Unity or anything like that, you know how it works because you know the base. And it's just a matter of understanding the abstraction layers built around that for the, that specific game engine and you are good to go. So knowing this low level stuff will help you with the higher level stuff of course another reason why you should make a game engine in my opinion it is because is a never ending learning experience. I mean, you think you're gonna learn everything that you need to make a game engine in three days? Well, I don't think so. Three weeks? No. Three months? Oh, probably no as well. And three years? No. Uh, maybe three centuries? Mm, 
No. Well, it is a never learning experience because there's so many different things that you can explore and learn. You can learn DirectX 11, DirectX 12, you can learn the subset of DirectX for Xbox, you can learn how to use the PlayStation APIs, you can learn how to use OpenGL, Vulkan, you can learn WebGL, OpenGL AS, you can learn C++ and become an advanced C++ user, then you can go to C and then you can learn how to make some memory optimizations, memory management, and then you will learn how to make a better uh, software architecture for a game engine. And this will make you learn so many different things that in the end, again, it's kind of a loop because it, it goes back to the first thing, which is you will become a better programmer. So if you like challenges and if you like to learn new things, well, Game age development is definitely a way for you, because don't expect to stop learning anytime soon if you follow this path. And the final thing, in my opinion, is because game age development is a lot of fun, honestly. I mean, you're gonna spend a lot of time trying to figure out why there's no triangle appearing in the screen, but in the end, when you have a game engine that's like well done and very polished and you see other people using it, or even yourself using your own tool, your own game engine to make your games, well, there is something that you're not gonna forget. It's, it's not something that like, oh, I just downloaded like Unity or Real and then started using it. It's great, but imagine that you made the game engine as well. Imagine that, oh my god, I created this entire game engine, I know how it works and I know how to use it the best way possible. It's a lot of fun and honestly something that you're never gonna forget in your whole life. I do have a game engine published as I said before, which is Cave Engine. It's currently like in alpha, I'm not in a final release yet, um, but I'm working on it and it's a lot of fun to see the community being built around it and it's something that's yours. It's like it's almost like your land. You you purchase some lands and then you want to do some stuff in that land and you know that it's yours. It's not like other people's lands that you're gonna have to uh, get out soon. Well, it's your stuff and you can build your castle around it, which is pretty cool. So I'm very happy uh, for Cave Engine. That gave me so many new opportunities. I'm talking about job offers. I'm talking about learning new people and engaging with the community, which, which is pretty cool. And if you are watching, this video thank you a lot because that means so much to me and i'd love to talk to you a little bit more about game engine development about stuff and show you new things and learn with you as well of course and see what you are doing so that's why i have a discord server i'm gonna put the link in the description so if you want to hang out and talk to people and share your work you are welcome in this discord server so my name is guilherme and i hope you had fun in this video i know i did and i see you in the next one